our energy. Like, I think our energy from the way we played from the beginning, the ball movement, like, it was just contagious. And it, I mean, that, it's a long game. They, both teams are going to make runs. So you're not, you don't need to, like, we let let one thing affect you early on because we know it's a long game. They made a run early on, and so we just we kept playing. So. I know it's not easy when you know the whistle may not necessarily be going your way, but what have you guys kind of as leaders done to help your team fight through some of those frustrations? Oh, I mean it's it's tough because uh, you you want to compete and. Like for me, I'm a defender. I love defending, and it's hard to touch people in the NBA today. As you know, he gets to the free throw line more than a lot of people, yeah, okay. which is a you know a great thing for him and us. But uh, you know, uh, you know, when you're going against tough whistles, I think we just got to stick together and fight through it, and uh, you know, try to if they're attacking the basket and getting calls, we got to attack the basket and put the pressure on the refs to make the same calls. So, you know, but most importantly, just stick together. For you guys, um, it seemed like San Antonio, they were using a lot of backdoor cuts. How do you guys kind of work toward avoiding that or defending those um, in the future? We got to keep, keep trying to follow the game plan when we're going into practice, when we're watching film, you know, just understanding the importance of the details and, and like I said, the game plan and executing and uh, we just got to stick together. Like I said, I think that's the most important. The, the charge you took, Coach talked about how it was, you know, the, the big point of the game is that, you know, obviously you're scoring, but the defensive effort that you had, did you, could you kind of see what Jeremy was trying to do and kind of yeah. slide on over? Well, I mean, I knew was, he was going to try to get to the basket. It was a transition play, so I was the only one back, and I mean, I was only, I could only foul him or try to take a charge, and um, so I just, I just slid over and tried to take a charge, and um, yeah, just one play. I mean, that was a big play for us, but I mean, we also all made a lot of plays. Clint made a big charge, a uh, big for us. I mean, we all made some plays that that really calculated to us winning. But yeah, for sure. I mean, I knew he was coming downhill. What about like the, the second half of the fourth quarter? It seemed like y'all just ratcheted up the defense and physicality. Was it anything? Just was it just kind of understood, or did anyone say anything? Or? Just trying to get stops, you know, trying to get stops. And we know we can score the basketball. I think the biggest challenge is us connecting on defense, you know, taking care of the transition stuff, uh, helping each other and talking to each other, communicating. So, you know, at the end of the day, we got to just continue to push at it and work at it and, you know, hopefully get it to come together. And, uh, you don't mind me asking, just your thoughts on playing against Wimbayama for the first time? Talented. Uh, you know, he, everything I heard about him as – how much he works, uh, he gets his rest. He's not out partying, and he really wants to be great. And he's with a great, a great organization, and I think they should be lucky to have somebody like that as well. You know, with his character at such a young age and his work ethic. All right, thank you. Thank you so much.